Last month, Facebook announced that it will be soon rolling out app sharing and multi-user accounts for Oculus Quest 2 users. I made a video about it back in January and now it is finally here. Users who got this update can share their Quest 2 with multiple Facebook accounts and share apps with them. As it is slowly rolling out to all Quest 2 users, I thought I would explain to you again how it is going to work because it is actually not that simple. There are many little rules and details that you must know before you get excited about on this update. Hi, this is Tatiana from Disco VR, and in this video I will explain to you clearly and simply what all these new features are about. And I even prepared some illustrations for you to make it easier to understand, so make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you like hearing about the hottest news and updates about Oculus and VR reviews, tutorials, updates, and gameplays. So let's start with the basics, multi-user accounts. What does it mean? It means that multiple accounts, specifically three additional secondary accounts, can be logged into the same VR set. So one primary account and up to three secondary Facebook accounts. And that's pretty cool because now each account can retain their own scores, leaderboards, uh, friends lists, and of course their own names and avatars on separate accounts and not mix them all up together, even if you own only one Quest 2 VR set. As you can see, in order to turn on this feature, you need to go to Experimental Features and find this tab that says Multiple Accounts and Library Sharing and toggle it. This will create a new tab on the left that says Accounts. And in this window, you will be able to add up to three secondary accounts. If you don't see this tab yet, then it might be because you're still on the older version of the software. And this feature will be rolling out to you as soon as you get version 25 update for your Oculus Quest 2. And now your friend will be able to log in to a secondary Facebook account that you have linked to your VR set and they will be able to see and play the apps that you have bought on your primary account. That sounds pretty easy, but uh, what exactly is app sharing and how does it work? App sharing means that the primary, and I emphasize it, only primary account will be able to share all the apps that support this feature with secondary accounts. So the good news is that all the secondary accounts can get the apps that that support this sharing feature from the primary account for free. But the bad news is that the games bought on the secondary accounts cannot be shared with any of the accounts. Okay, so these three accounts are sort of like parasites that can get the games for free, but they're not actually offering anything in return. All right then, what if you have two VR sets? How does app sharing work then? Well, it depends on how you play it. Let's take two scenarios. In the first scenario, you had your Oculus Quest 2, your primary and your secondary account. And you were happily sharing all your apps to this secondary account, but then you finally decided to buy a new VR set. You log into this new Quest 2 with your Facebook account that used to be the secondary account and now it becomes the primary account of this VR set. Can you guess what happens next? That's right, you lose access to all the apps that were previously shared to you by the primary account of your first VR set now that you have lost your parasite privileges. That really sucks, doesn't it? So what can we do about it? Well, let's take this second scenario. Instead of logging into your new VR set with a different Facebook account, which used to be secondary, simply log in with the same primary account and again, link it to the secondary account. So you have the two VR sets both having the same Facebook account as their primary account. But what will happen now? Well, now you simply log in to one of your VR sets using your secondary account and enjoy your parasitic life getting free apps off of your primary account. You can now play online games with your friends and family and you only need to buy one copy of the game. Theoretically, you can do this for up to three additional VR sets. Let's see how that might work. You can have up to four Oculus Quest 2 headsets all having the same Facebook account as their primary account and then one of the headsets will be logged in with this primary account and the others will each be logged in with a different secondary account. So you can have up to three parasites, making it the total of four people playing online games together 
while buying only one copy of the game. And this sounds really cool and hopefully it will work this way. But as of now, I haven't had the chance to test it if it's true. So if you have four VR sets and four Facebook accounts, try it out and please let me know in the comments if it worked out for you. One thing you need to remember is that you will not be able to use the same account to run the same app across multiple devices simultaneously. That's why make sure that you're always logged in with different Facebook accounts to play games. Let's recap. Set up the same primary account across all devices but log in to each of your devices from a different account. Then all of your accounts will have access to all the games shared by the primary account and all accounts will be able to play this game simultaneously. As of now, the limit is to three secondary accounts. That's it! If you have made a mistake and accidentally set up a different account as your primary account, this can be changed by simply doing a factory reset, and then you will be prompted to choose which Facebook account will be your primary. Another important thing is that it is unfortunately not available right now on the original Oculus Quest. Facebook said that this feature will be rolling out to Quest 1 users, but they didn't specify when, so we really don't have any information regarding when Quest 1 users might expect multi-user accounts and app sharing to be available on their devices. It really might be one of the strategies that they use to push people to buy more Quest 2 headsets. So what games are supported by app sharing? All new games will be supporting this feature. However, not all existing games can support it. For now, we don't have an official source listing all games supported and not supported by this feature, but soon it won't be as important because all future games will be automatically supported and there is a very high chance that the developers of currently existing games that do not have app sharing, such as Beat Saber, Fit XR, and Population One, uh, will soon adapt their games to support this feature. So I personally believe that it is just going to be a matter of time. And that's it. I hope this clarified things for you. Please let me know if you're excited about these features and how you're going to be using them. Are you going to share the games with your friends or your family? And which multiplayer games are you excited to play using these features? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to support this channel by subscribing and liking this video and please consider becoming my patron which will be a tremendous help for this channel and you will also receive some perks and access to bonus content. Stay safe and as always, happy gaming!